It's my feel good breakfast show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one, one thing. thing. When it's a Wednesday, we're outside feeling good, having a good time. Cause it's the culinary hotline bling. A sing, sing, sing. And our fourth Peter and the Chef Tash are here to answer all of your culinary conundrums that have been confounding you over the past weeks. 021-4309-881 is the number to call. Neighbours, they're here. <laughs> Amel and Chef Tash are here. Call us with your questions. And we've also, of course, uh, got questions uh, from social media. Ladies, man, Tom Bazane, yes. always a pleasure. Always, always, I look always. forward to our adventures today. All right, let's take our first question that came through on Facebook from Shmei, or Shmei's Jacobs, who says, how can I turn my cream into chocolate cream? And is dessert cream or fresh cream better for whipping? All right, um, I would say fresh cream mm. is the best. If you want to whip it. Yes, um, mm. yes, definitely. Because dessert cream has got a lot of added sugar on it. Yes. And you want something that you can alter. Yes. So how you make the chocolate um, the chocolate cream, yes. we've got cocoa powder as well as um, the, the um, icing sugar. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that you don't use um, granulated sugar because your cream is going to be um, very granular. And Textured, you want it, the texture want won't nice be quite nice. Yeah. And just don't over whip the cream. So I'll yes. whip the cream to a certain point and then I'll sift it in yeah. so it doesn't form like little cloinkies. Yes. Cloinkies cloinkies are like uh, 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 when you have a... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Man, you know, yeah. like when you know, twinky. Like when you when you when you're making pop, and yeah, then like instead of the the maize yes. meal getting dissolved properly yeah. in the in the uh, the water, it digs the twinky. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a caca. It's a caca. Those things. Um, looking at that, what yes. is the proportion of cocoa powder to icing sugar when you're turning cream into chocolate cream? Yeah, Are you go? No, I think I think if you take say 250 ml of cream, yeah. mm -hmm. I will add about say a tablespoon of cocoa powder, mm -hmm. and I'll add more um, um, icing sugar, about yeah. two to three tablespoons, and then yes. perhaps a dash of vanilla as well would be yes. nice. Yes. Um, make sure that you don't put in a lot of vanilla because if vanilla, if the liquid one, it's you can easier. use a paste mm -hmm. or you can use the seeds because yes. then they don't change the consistency of your cream. Yeah. And plus they're packed with a lot more flavour. By the oh, way, yeah, a yeah. cloinky is a lump, guys. So let's get it right. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Bren thoughts, Brenda so. Maila <laughs> asked the question, says, um, I love eating uh, with vegetables on the side, but mm. they get boring after a while. How can I make my veggies mm. exciting? Okay, this is going to be very exciting. Yes, so, take your broccoli end. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of marinades in people's fri fridges, like mm. meat marinade or even um, salad dressings and stuff. So take that, skewer your veggies in, and then you baste it with that marinade or even with your salad dressing. Because mm -hmm. salad dressing has got your oil and your vinegar in, and your marinade has got beautiful flavor as well. Yeah. So marinate it and put it on the braai. Mm. And then another good idea is to make rosti of it so oh, your, yeah, yeah. especially your butternut oh, yeah. and your um, uh, courgettes. Uh, courgettes if you if you uh, grate them yeah um, you add beautiful spices about a tablespoon of flour put them together and shallow fry them okay. yeah. beautiful like you do a potato roast those are some great ideas I would have mm. never thought of using a salad dressing as a base yeah. for a brine oh, yeah, yeah uh, well for vegetables at least all right, great ideas. Another one, uh, Rodney from Cape Town said, mm -hmm. um, how do I start a seafood poiki and include garlic powder? Okay, now a seafood poiki is not like your normal lamb or beef poiki yes. in the sense that you do not start with your meat because um, it's seafood, it cooks very quickly. Yes. So um, you start with your sauce, um, onion, tomato paste, um, anything that you want to um, flavor it with. Yes. Now with a garlic powder, I'd, I prefer garlic, um, the, the, the cloves, because the yes. flavor is so nice. But if you prefer the powder, I normally do a rub, a dry rub mm -hmm. for your prawns. You can mix on the actual prawns on the or actual the actual prawn. fish or whatever it is that yes. you're going to be putting so, in. So um, what I prefer doing is to keep your prawn whole. Yes. You don't you don't deshell it. You just devein it mm -hmm. so that for presentation purposes as well. Mm. And you use fish like king clip yeah. because it's a it's a mm. white firm fish. So you want to use ingredients that are not going to fall apart. Okay. And then yes. just do ten otherwise minutes. Otherwise it's going to be messy. And then just ten minutes. Don't Mm. Sit on the, around the poiki and drink 20 beers after you put the seafood in. That is, uh uh, you don't do that. You don't do that. And another thing is, don't put frozen 
uh, yes. uh, seafood in the poiki. Oh, yeah. How? It's going to defrost. That liquid is going to go in your poiki and it's just going to be all horrible. Yeah. The sauce will be compromised. So it needs to be properly defrosted. And then you end oh, yeah. up with more like a seafood mutoho. Oh, yeah. So it's a soup. Yo, oh, mm. that doesn't sound appetizing yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no to soggy bottoms. All right, 0214309881. Give us a call. We'll be right back with Anel and Chef Tash on the culinary hotline. Bling! Zing, zing. It's my feel good show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean, mean one thing. thing. Culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. Ting, ting. It's live, large, and in charge on your feel good breakfast show where we conquer all your culinary conundrums that have been confounding you over the past week. Chef Tash and Anel are here to answer all your questions. Give us a call. Don't be shy. 021-4309-881. A question that came in from Marcus from Pretoria yeah. wants to know where the sushi and lemon go together. You know, not traditionally. If you go to a sushi um, restaurant, you won't see lemons on the plates. Mm -hmm. But because sushi uses fish most of the time, your salmon and your tuna, and mm -hmm. tuna, you know, and lemon go together. Yes. So if, if you like it, put a dash on or yes. a drop on it. What I like to do is use the soya sauce that you dip your sushi in. Yes. I like to put a bit of lemon in there and a bit mm. of chilies in there. Like just like a few drops because you don't want it to overpower the sushi, the flavor as well. Yeah. But it yeah. can work. All right. Yes. Okay. You can also do um, like a salmon maki or a sashimi. Sashimi is the fresh fish yes. that goes um, on its own. So you know fish and lemon, um, as Anel has said, yes. they go very nicely together. But just make sure that you don't use the lemon way before time because lemon cooks fish. It cooks the fish, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. A bit of lemon, a little bit of uh, uh, pepanyana, oh, yeah. avo on the top. Mm. Listen, we're working, we're working miracles. <laughs> Roshni is on the line right now. Roshni joining us from M. Dubani. Good morning, Roshni. Good morning to you, Hitlego and Tashin and Neil. How are ah, you? Great, great to have you on the culinary hotline playing. Ting, ting, ting. Go, Roshni. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was waiting for you to go ting, ting, ting. Next time. All right, what is your no, question? No. <laughs> okay, my, my question relates to. Um, chicken, roast chicken. I want it to be absolutely soft. Mm, okay, so you're making right. roast chicken. Yes, but unfortunately I've done that last week. But um, today I'm making a turkey drumstick. How can that relate to? Mm, okay, so, yes, so yes. you're working with turkey today and you want to make it nice yes. and soft mm. and juicy. Yes. Mm. Okay. yes. Ladies. Like turkey is much more tougher yes. than chicken, yeah. and I love those big drumsticks. They yum, yum, yum. And you can just like, like you can oh, hold yeah. them. Oh, yeah. like a Flintstone. <laughs> it's like lacquered one. Yeah. So yeah. what I do is I, I I braise it for a bit longer. You know, also with onions and with flavorings. You can put anything like herbs in there. You can put lemon, parsley, and then I close the lid and I actually braise it oh, yeah. in a bit of stock. Or a bit of wine or whatever you've got mm -hmm. for about say 20 30 minutes, yeah, but slowly, slowly, yeah. Yeah. So, so not a high heat, you don't oh. want it to cook on the outside very quickly, you I want to just yeah, I would be careful to put it in the oven because it is going to dry out in the oven, oh, the yeah. drumstick. So I would rather braise it on the stove. Oh yeah. If you are going to do it in an oven, make sure that your initial cooking mm. um, is, is covered. Yeah. Mm. So foil it up very nice and tightly. Um, sometimes you can even put um, 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 sort of a tray with water inside mm. your oven so that it steams it up nicely. And um, as Anel said, turkey is so much tougher than your chicken. Yes. So um, cook it over slow and low heat. Mm -hmm. um, so you can even do 160 for a bit of while. I can, if I estimate two kgs of, of turkey, will take about two hours to cook. Okay, so mm. about an hour per kg. Um, Be yes. very, very patient when it comes to mm. your turkey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, those turkeys are tough. They, they, they do squats. Mm. Um, Chantel. <laughs> <laughs> on the line from Pitori. Good morning, Chantel. Hi, good morning. Who am I speaking to? Uh, you are speaking to Katlejo on your Feel Good <laughs> Breakfast show. Uh, I, sorry. Katlejo? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, Katlejo. Um, thank you for the wonderful program. I would like to find out, is there a recipe for jalapeno dip? Oh, okay. A jalapeno mm. dip. What will you do, Tess? Well, mayo, jalapenos. They go perfectly together. Uh -huh. And you can add cream cheese yes. as well as cheddar. So cheddar, cheese, um, jalapenos, and mayo, they make a beautiful dip. So yeah. you just throw them all together into oh, like a blender sort of blender. Yes. 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 Chantel, thank you very much for the call. Uh, enjoy the jalapeno dip. Send us some pictures on Facebook, mm -hmm. will you? 
I don't have Facebook. Ah, uh, you know what? That's all right. <laughs> you can send them by mail as well. That's. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks so much for the call. Much appreciated. Um, <laughs> a question that came in from V Cole uh, on Facebook: How do I make pizza? Now that we were all on, on the mm, cheese. Oh yeah. So um, the the thing that makes a pizza is in the dough. So mm -hmm. if your dough is not crispy and not nice enough, your pizza is not going to be nice. So if it's soggy, it's not going to be beautiful. Yes. So here we've got a pizza dough, we've got a tomato base. Um, you can get, um, if you are lazy to make um, your own dough, you ah, can get it's the... It's not lazy, it's just tesh. I need to just time is of the <laughs> <laughs> dish. Okay. <laughs> so a pizza, a pizza base is basically... Um, you can top it with anything. Yes. So these days you've got gourmet pizzas, you've got all sorts of named pizzas okay. where you add so vegetables. Can you check through the ingredients while you do that? It's, all right. Uh, feta there? Got, this is feta, this is um, pepper juice, mm -hmm. sweet um, and chili, proudly South African um, uh, ingredient. And then, and then, then this is the some end. cheese. All right. So you can do a lot of cheeses, you can do three cheeses, gongonzola, you can do brie, Excellent. you can do a lot of things. I tell you things. what, while you do that, let me say thank you to both of you ladies for your incredible knowledge base that you share with us every single week. Much appreciated. Thank you to you at home for the calls and the interactive questions that you keep feeding through to us on Facebook. Continue to do so, and we shall return again on the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ting, ting, ting! ting.